The Hadzabi tribe made headlines again with an incredible feat. Leopards for lunch. You won't believe what these skilled hunters accomplished. So join us on this exciting journey as we dive into their latest adventure. Let's dive in and discover their extraordinary hunting prowess. Here we begin. We all know that Hadza people are hunter-gatherers and hunt animals to survive. Mostly they rely on baboons, birds, or other animals, but sometimes they even hunt bigger prey like leopards. So, are African leopards easy to hunt? Well, let's talk a bit about them. African leopards are a type of big cat found in many African countries. They have a beautiful golden coat covered in black rosettes and are known for their adaptability and hunting prowess. These leopards are larger predators, standing about 2 to 2.6 feet tall at the shoulder and weighing between 88 to 198 pounds. These clever cats are skilled hunters and inhabit various environments, especially areas with dense bushes and rocky outcrops that aid them in hunting and hiding. However, due to habitat loss, their historical range has become fragmented, threatening some populations. Also, leopards are fascinating creatures with keen senses, making them shy and nocturnal. Their ability to see, hear, and smell with precision makes them a challenge to hunt. Many African tribes take up the challenge of hunting these elusive creatures, but it's not an easy task. Both male and female leopards are territorial, and their territories often overlap. The size of these territories depends on the availability of prey. In areas with fewer food options, like semi-arid regions, leopard territories tend to be larger. African leopards can be found throughout the continent, but their population varies in different regions. For example, the Silas region in Tanzania is known to have one of the largest leopard populations, and some impressive specimens have been hunted there. Hunting leopards is a unique experience because these cats are highly adaptable and possess incredible survival skills. African tribes that hunt leopards must be patient, strategic, and well-prepared. Outsmarting leopards require skill and deep knowledge of their behavior. Now let's talk about the Hadza tribe. As we said, the Hadza, also known as the Hadzabe, is a special indigenous group from Tanzania. They live near Lake Ayasi in the central Rift Valley and the Serengeti Plateau. The Hadza have a unique way of life as hunter-gatherers. In 2015, there were about 1,200 to 1,300 Hadza people in Tanzania, but only around 400 of them still rely completely on traditional foraging methods for survival. This means they gather their food from nature instead of farming or other modern ways. Sadly, Hadza's traditional lifestyle is in danger because of tourism and other outsiders moving into their lands. These changes threaten their way of life and make it harder for them to continue living the way they always have. Despite the challenges, the Hadza tribe holds on to their unique customs and connection with nature, their subsistence and hunting. When it comes to their survival, the Hadza people live by finding their own food from nature. The men usually search for food alone and eat what they find during the day. Sometimes they bring back honey, fruit, or wild animals when they can find them. On the other hand, women forage in larger groups and often bring home berries, baobab fruit, and tubers, depending on what is available. Sometimes men and women work together to gather honey and fruit, and a man may join a group of women foraging. During the rainy season, their diet mainly consists of honey, some fruit, tubers, and occasional meat. But in the dry season, when animals gather around water sources, the amount of meat they eat increases. During this time, men hunt in pairs and wait by water holes at night, hoping to shoot animals with their poison-tipped arrows. The Hadza people are skilled at finding and choosing food based on the season and situation. Depending on what's available, they might rely more on tubers, berries, or meat. Traditionally, the Hadza don't use hunting dogs, though some have adopted the practice from neighboring tribes. Most men don't use dogs when hunting. Women use tools like digging sticks and grass baskets to carry berries. They also carry knives, shoes, and other small items. Conversely, men have axes, bows, poisoned and non-poisoned arrows, and various tools. The men are mainly responsible for getting meat, honey, and baobab fruit, while the women focus on gathering tubers, berries, and greens. However, sometimes they switch roles and help each other out. Moreover, a myth says honey harvesting is a man's job, but there's a story where a woman harvests honey too. To get honey or fruit from tall trees like the baobab, the Hadza use pointed sticks as ladders, which is also shown in a tale and a film about them. 
The Hadza people have a unique way of living, and they adjust their diet and activities based on what nature provides them within different seasons. But why do Hadza people love meat a lot? Meat, including that of animals like baboons and leopards, is a significant part of their diet, and there are several reasons why they prefer meat. Firstly, meat satisfies their nutritional necessity. The Hadza's environment lacks abundant agricultural resources, making relying solely on plant-based foods challenging for sustenance. Meat provides crucial nutrients like protein, essential fats, vitamins, for example, B12, and minerals, for example, iron, zinc, that may be scarce or difficult to obtain from other food sources. And it's a source of high energy yield. Hunting and consuming meat can offer a high caloric return for the effort invested. Compared to gathering plant-based foods, acquiring animal meat through hunting can yield more energy, which is essential for their active lifestyle. Moreover, sometimes it is due to the season. Plant foods may become scarce in certain seasons, prompting the Hadza to rely more heavily on animal meat for sustenance. During the dry season, the Hadza eat more meat, hunting animals as they drink from watering holes. Animals are mobile and can migrate or move to different areas, making them potentially more available throughout the year. They also have cultural factors associated with meat. The Hadza's culture and traditions have been centered around hunting for generations. Hunting and sharing meat foster social bonds and cooperation within the community, contributing to the fabric of their society. The Hadza have developed extensive knowledge and skills in hunting techniques, tracking, and animal behavior, allowing them to successfully hunt various animals. And finally, not often, but sometimes, it can be used for medicinal and ritual use. In addition to being a primary food source, animals hold cultural significance. Parts of the animals, such as bones, organs, and other body parts, might also be used for medicinal purposes or in traditional rituals. How do they enjoy meat? The Hadza people have developed various methods for cooking meat after a successful hunt. Their cooking techniques are simple, and they rely on natural resources available in their environment. Like the most common method is cooking the meat over an open fire. The Hadza typically builds a fire using wood and dry grass or leaves as fuel. They may use a campfire or construct a small fire pit. Once the fire burns, they cook the meat directly on the hot flames. Also, they roast the meat. Roasting is a popular way of cooking meat among the Hadza. They may skewer larger pieces of meat or whole animals like small game birds, such as guinea fowl or small antelope, and hold them over the fire to cook evenly. This method drips the fat away and gives the meat a smoky flavor. Sometimes they boil it to cook it like soup. The Hadza may sometimes use makeshift containers like animal hides or plant leaves to boil meat. They collect water from nearby sources, heat it over the fire, and add chunks of meat to cook in the boiling water. And they also preserve it using a smoking technique. Smoking meat is a preservation technique that the Hadza might use when they have an excess of meat or when preparing for times when food may be scarce. They may hang strips of meat near the fire to smoke and dry them, making the meat last longer. The Hadza sometimes consume meat raw, especially for organs like the liver and kidney, which they believe to be highly nutritious. So, this is all about how the Hadzabe tribe relishes leopards or other animals for lunch. What do you think of this? Comment below and subscribe for more.